Hello, my name is Dr. Rob Knight and I would like to welcome you to this course. In this course, we'll be using my math lab, which is a learning management system available from Pearson Education. Go to www.mymathlab.com to start the My Math Lab registration process. If you have used My Math Lab in the past, then you can click the sign in button and enter your username and password. Once you have logged in, you will click the Enroll in New Course section link. You will be asked for the course ID number, which is found on the course syllabus. If you are new to My Math Lab, then click on the Student button under Register Now. You will need three things to register on My Math Lab for the first time. You will need an email address that you will check frequently. Since this is an online course, email is the primary means of communicating important announcements and information. So enter an email address that you will check daily. Next, you'll need the course section ID number, which is found on the syllabus. The course ID looks something like this. Knight, followed by a series of numbers. Finally, you will need a credit card or access code. I highly recommend using a credit card. Using access codes to register is a much more expensive means of registering for the course. You should also check for the grace period option, which may be available for your course. The grace period option will allow you to work on My Math Lab without paying the fee for approximately two weeks. However, after the two week grace period, you will be required to pay the My Math Lab registration fee. When you have these three items in place, then click on the OK Register Now button at the right side of the page. Next, you will be required to input the course ID number. If you have an electronic copy of the syllabus, then you can simply copy-paste the course ID number from the syllabus to the Enter Your Course ID field. When you click the Continue button, you should be brought to a page that displays the course section corresponding to the course section found on your syllabus. Now you will create a Pearson account by clicking the Create button. The rest of the My Math Lab registration involves inputting your private information. You will be asked for your email. It is important to use an email that you will check daily as this is the primary means for me contacting you with important announcements and information. This information will include information about the final exam. You'll also be asked to enter a My Math Lab username and password. Please write this information down in a safe place, for example, in your math workbook. If you misplace your username or password, you can follow the Forgot Username or Password links on the My Math Lab sign-in page. If you have any technical difficulty with the Pearson Education My Math Lab registration process, then call 800-677-6337 for My Math Lab technical support. They are available Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Once you have logged on to My Math Lab, you should see your course displayed. Click the title of the course to bring you to the course homepage. On the left-hand navigation bar, the two links that you will use most often are the Homework and Quizzes and Test links. Clicking on the Homework link will bring you to the Assignments page. I strongly suggest that you go to the Homework drop-down menu and select All Assignments. Use the arrows at the top of the page to navigate to the first page of the assignments. Now, under the Homework and Test page, with all assignments selected, you can see the order in which the assignments should be done. For example, here, starting with the orientation, then go to the Section 1.1 through 1.7 Homework, then you should do the Chapter 1 Quiz before continuing on to Section 2.1 Homework. Of course, these homework section numbers may be different for your specific course. The All Assignments page will also give you the number of attempts that you have made at the particular assignment, as well as the due dates for the various assignments. The Quizzes and Tests link will bring you to the same assignments page, except only the Quizzes and Tests will be shown. You can again use the drop-down menu to see all assignments as you did when you clicked on the Homework link. The study plan is completely optional and does not count towards your grade. 
I do not recommend using the study plan link as it is very time consuming and you will derive the same benefit by using the learning aids found when doing the homework assignments. The gradebook link will show your grades on assignments that you have attempted. The average given at the top of the page can be somewhat deceiving because it does not include zeros for work not completed by the due date. So, you should always look at the assignment submitted area to get an idea of how many assignments you have completed. Clicking on the Show Calculation link shows how the weighted average is computed with each different assignment type shown. Please remember that any assignments that are not completed by the due date will become zeros when your final grade is computed. Clicking on the Chapter Contents link brings you to a resource for the online electronic textbook. Across the top of the page under Chapter Contents are some very useful links. I strongly suggest clicking on the How Do I Enter Answers link to see a series of videos that will be a big help in using the My Math Lab question template. Also included under Chapter Contents is the Student Solution Manual, a Word Problem Workbook, and a list of the chapters covered in this course. When you click on any chapter, you will see the chapter sections as well as links to the homework, quizzes, and tests. I do not recommend using the study plan as it is very time consuming and does not contribute towards your grade. When you click on a chapter section, you will be able to access the multimedia e-textbook, which you can download or print for reference and include in your workbook. To get started on the assignments in the course, click on the homework link on the left-hand navigation bar and start with the orientation chapter. Good luck in the course. If you have any difficulties, please email me at robert.knight at evc.edu. If you have technical difficulties with my math lab, please call 800-677-6337 Monday through Friday between 6 a.m. and 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.